Well, a story I shared in the workshop today is um, so people perhaps remember the, the, the tents in Calais, so many refugees there, and I was walking through those tents one day, and a man walked up to me and said, uh, hello, I want to tell you my story. And I never had that quite as direct as that. I said, okay. And so he told me he left his country as a boy uh, when his village was bombed. He moved in with his uncle in another country. And when he became a teenager, his uncle said, you have to leave and go to Europe. So as a teenager, he came to Europe and he was taken in in France as an orphan and, and, and raised uh, as a minor. When he turned 18, uh, the French authorities said, you're 18 now, you're an adult, and you have to leave the country. And so, he, where do I go? He went to the UK for his first time, um, and he was not accepted there. They rejected him, um, and so he learned English. He learned uh, a job. He got a job, but over the course of the next uh, several years, he was deported two times, back to Italy, uh, and he made his way always back to, to England. And so there on the second time, I met him. And he said, where am I supposed to go? Nobody wants me. I said, my, my, my country is bombed and the village I live in doesn't even exist anymore. You can't even find it on the map. And, and I'm beginning to lose my own, my own uh, memory of my language, of my people. And he says, um, I have no more identity, I have no place in this world. And so I think that's a beautiful story of how, um, of what our ministries are about. It's about helping people to rediscover their identity, to uh, ultimately to find that identity in, in, in Jesus and in God. And, and so, it, so that's what we do, that's what I love to do. Um, and I have lots of stories like that.